Hi guys. So today I'll be sharing with you this look which is a blown out glittery smoky eye. It's super super easy and it is also affordable. I've tried to keep all the products affordable. It's perfect for the last moment New Year's Eve party or just general and I hope you guys enjoyed it and let's get started. So I'm starting off with my eyes and I'm just priming it with my concealer. You can use an eye primer. I'm just setting it with a powder and then I'm taking the Maybelline Nudes palette and taking this Topi shade. I'm just gonna put this in my crease as a really nice transition. I want more of a brown kind of transition, but Smokey is not restricted to brown transitions. So you can go ahead and go for like a peach or something dramatic if you don't mind. But I'm just going in with this Topi shade and I'm slightly buffing it and slowly building it up. Then I took my Lacme Kajal pencil and I applied this on my lid area. You don't have to be very precise with it because we are going to blend it out anyway. So I'm just applying it closer to my lid and only on my lid area and then blending it out making sure I stay on my lid and don't go anywhere near to my crease. So yes, just applying that and then I am taking a brush and blending out the edges just so that they don't look too harsh or anything because the last thing you want is for your smoky eye to look harsh. So just make sure you blend it out really nicely. Use a brush, use your fingers, whatever is more convenient to you. And then I am just building up that black. So I'm applying that kajal pencil again and blending it out um, again with the brush same thing just to make sure that um it is not harsh at all and then i'm going to take a dark brown shade to build up my crease now this is a quite warm brown shade and it looks beautiful with a smoky eye but like i said you can go for any kind of transition or um, crease shade as you want i wanted a brown one so that's what i'm going for and just blending it really nicely then i took a black shadow from the same palette and i'm just applying it on my lid area to set that kajal with every kajal pencil you do, do need to set it because it might just crease on you so just make sure that you pat it and not move it around just pat that and uh, blend it out really nicely this will also intensify the black on your lids then i took the same brown shade and i'm just this time i'm like really blending it and building it up sort of to that for the brown to like show properly then because of the blending the black lost, lost its intensity so i'm just um building it up again and then blending everything together initially it looks like a really like a real mess but once you start blending and buffing and going over it again and again it starts looking more um put together so yes just blending everything in together very nicely make sure that black is not in your crease then i'm just cleaning up it up so i'm just cleaning it in a way to make that sharp cut on my eyes that you do with a tape but i don't have the tape like i did not use the tapes i use the um tissue like the wipe then i took this shade from the same palette and applied it all over my lids this gave me a really nice glittery blown out kind of effect and you can go for a, like a proper glitter if you have one but i did not and i wanted something glittery anyway so i just went with this and applied it all over my lids this palette also has a golden uh, shade so if you want more of a golden um glitter you can go for that one then i'm taking the plum kajal and i'm just going to um make a line very close to my lash line you can hardly even see it but it's very close to my lash line this is just uh so that there are no gaps in my like lashes near my lash line because with a smoky eye it even looks it looks even bad like so so bad so you just need to make sure this is totally skippable you don't have to do that then i took the shimmery shade that i applied all over my lids and also applied it on my brow bone just to brighten it up slightly Then I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and the YBP Cosmetics Makeup Perfector. It's my favorite makeup blender right now, like beauty blender right now. I love it. So I'm just applying that um, Maybelline Fit Me all over my face. 
it's a matte foundation so it will stay on for a longer period of time uh, i also set it later so that just increases the longevity of the foundation and you really want that just make sure you're not using any foundation that has spf because you are going to click pictures anyway i'm taking the nyx hd concealer and just concealing my under eyes with this making a v shape because i wanted a slightly highlighted look with um smoky eyes or dark shades on your lids it can like emphasize the darkness on your under eyes so you really really want to conceal them super well so that there is no darkness whatsoever also make sure you go into your inner corners because they are the darkest then i'm taking my fit me foundation no fit me compact i'm just setting the Uh, whole of my face with a brush slightly just dusting it all over my face you can go ahead and bake if you want i did not feel like but you can totally do that and yeah and then i went on to my lower lash line and you cannot see it probably because i'm out of frame not really out of frame i'm looking down but anyway i'm just applying the dark brown uh, eye shadow on my lower lash line and then i went in with the same kajal the plum kajal and applied it on my lower lash line again like on my waterline not my lash line and i also just smudged it out slightly under my um lash line just so that it looks smoky so yes then i moved on to my brows and i first just combed through them nicely and then i used this shade from the same palette and i'm filling in my eyebrows now it depends on what color eyebrows you have but mine um are like blackish like quite black so this color kind of fits it um because i only have to fill and i do have like a slightly fuller um eyebrows so this kind of works for me so it depends on your um brows completely then taking this topi brownie shade i am contouring this is such a beautiful for con uh, shade for contouring i do this all the time i use this shade so much for contouring because it's so perfect for my skin tone especially and this is obviously more affordable because you're just using one palette for so many things it's just more convenient more affordable and yeah also you can see that white thing on my uh, lashes it's the glue because my lashes came off and um yeah i had to reapply them and also the lashes are in the number um uh, 53 by pack then i'm taking the color show blush in the shade creamy cinnamon i believe but all the shades are going to be there in the bottom bar and i'm just dusting this over over my cheeks you don't want to be too intense with this and this peachy shade is just perfect for um the smoky eye then taking the same shade that i used all over my lips i'm just going to use this to highlight my face you can see i'm using like one palette for so many things and that just makes it so much more convenient and affordable so Yeah, I'll try to use palettes. They are just amazing. Then I'm going to complete my eyes, and I'm going to going to apply this Lash Sensational mascara by Maybelline, and apply this on my lower lash line. I love this mascara. This is like my favorite mascara. I love this. Even for the lower lash line, it gives such nice volume and such nice length. Actually, I love it. And finally for the lipstick I'm using this Lakme one. It's an old one but they have revamped the packaging and the names and everything. So I'm going to include the new name in the bottom bar below. But it's a very pretty nude. And yes, that is the finished look. I really like how it turned out. It's glittery, it's beautiful. It's I just love it and this just goes with so many outfits. So I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.